everybody welcome to hidden heights farm this morning has already been super exciting here on our farm we're planning to go trail riding today later today with some friends and i was uh loading up the ranger with the ice chest and getting some cold drinks and stuff like that and snacks for the kids and us prepared and rachel was walking mojo around the field doing their little security checks rachel was doing her walk mojo was doing his perimeter markings and all that and uh, I get a phone call from Rachel. I'm like, oh, great. What's what's wrong now? And she said, hey, I think uh, I found a bee swarm. And sure enough, right up there in a tree, right above the ranger. Good morning to you, little mockingbird. It's, this mockingbird comes back every year, and uh, it always sings to us when we're out here. Back to the story. Uh, there was a bee swarm up in that oak tree right there, about 20 feet up. My pulp pole saw only goes to 15 feet so Rachel had to come help me and back the ranger up right under that tree and I had to stand on that toolbox in the ice chest and I hinged that limb down just perfect I think we got it on her phone her brother was actually here coming to borrow the pole saw and it worked out great because then we had someone to actually help us record while Rachel helped me get the uh, bees out You got it. Whoa. Oh, God. Hold still, Rachel. Don't let them sting you. Kevin will take care of it there. Pull that pole saw down, Rachel, and throw it over. Come bring it over this way. Drive? No. Oh. What do you do? Let them get back in the ball? Yeah, they'll go. Hold on. Rachel, come here. What? I'm going to lower this end down. Okay, and grab it? I want you to grab it and hold it over that box. Hold on, though. I got to get down. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Hold on. I hit the red button. It's red. Okay, good. One, two, three. Get back. So she should be in there, that queen. I and mean, if she's in there, they'll all come. See, there's still some on that branch. Did you get stung? Uh-uh. Right on you? No. And you got shorts on, you goober. Usually they won't sting you when they're swarming. Is there holes there they can get in there? Yeah. Underneath that wood? On the front, there's a hole opening. So if you sit there and if you walk away from Seeing that, Rachel was super brave. She's allergic to bees and she wasn't even wearing a bee suit, but we were trying to hurry up and just get it done before they flew off. And I needed help, so she jumped in there and helped me. But what I'm gonna do now is I got the bee swarm in this hive and we're gonna try to set it right here next to our others. And what this will do is add an additional beehive to our bee colony. So we're gonna get this done and then we'll we'll do some uh we'll go check on the farm animals and do some feeding and stuff. And then later on in this video, we're gonna do some uh trail riding at a place we've never been before, so stick around for that.
pretty large swarm of bees. See that camera and all? Give them a close up. Show you guys what the inside of a beehive looks like if you've never seen it. And this one is not an existing beehive. This is a new swarm pit. So I've got to get all these frames loaded up. I'm going to put 10 frames in there. But there should be a queen in there hopefully somewhere. And hopefully they'll thrive and take off. So I'm going to get this done and I'll be right back. So we got them in there and hopefully everything will turn out okay and we'll add another hive to our colonies. Alright, so it's been about three hours since we came out here and we captured the swarm and the bees are coming and going. Don't really see a lot of activity right this minute, but they're still in there so that's a good sign. Let me show you who is uh, capitalizing on this swarm for me cutting those limbs down. Look at this. These guys have already got uh, pretty much all these branches stripped clean. Got them a little snack. They love these oak leaves. Gives them a little extra forage. So everybody's happy. What do you know, Skeeter? How you doing, boy? Huh? You resting underneath there? He's hot. All right, so now we got the ranger loaded up. And yes, I have to put this thing on the big trailer. We have a 12 foot tilt trailer, but it will not work with this size ranger. So we got the big trailer broke out and we're fixing to load up and meet some friends down at the dam and do some riding. So I told you earlier, the kids had a surprise they wanted to show you. And this is something they've been waiting to show you guys for a little bit and they finally got them and here we go we got kittens yep <laughs> what do you got guys kittens what's their names here stay right there oh sorry Aww. we'll see let's see yours first kaya this is blossom little blossom that's a little girl yep what's your name <laughs> <It's a> mojo <laughs> And this is Smee, and he's a boy. Where'd you get the name Smee from? Hook. Hook. Because... It's a pirate's name, right? Yeah, he is... It looks like Sil Sylvester or whatever that cat's name is on uh, Looney Tunes or whatever that is. Uh, the reason why I named him Smee is because he's kind of chubby. <laughs> uh, I saw this... Kind of? He's really chubby. Yeah. Uh... Uh, I got a collar at the pet store and it had like skulls on it like a pirate so I was like hmm he's kind of chubby and that and that matches him so oh. I might name him Smee. That's a pretty good uh, way and to come up with I the love, name. I love I love the movie Hook so yep. it's very creative. Yeah. So what's Mojo think of these little cats? He's like, he's scared of they them. are bite size. I'm really surprised that Snickers and Mojo are taking to these cats like they are not trying to bother them. Ow, she's and mean. If you put them down, will they play with each other? Yeah. Yes. Let's see. They've been playing all morning. They are so tiny. <laughs> that one's biting the other one's tail. Look. They're <laughs> Brother and sister, just like you guys. <laughs> Oh, she's getting after him. I know he They love mean. playing. Then you get I the big boy just watching them right there. Look at that. <laughs> Mojo, what do you think about these? He's he too busy care. biting himself. Okay, hold on. I need to show you guys something. Look, look, look what happens when you put your fingers like that. Oh, yeah, they love playing. <laughs> But this morning, what were they doing, Kayla? We were out here watching them, and he was running sideways. He was running sideways. And he was like, <laughs> Ow! Then, yeah. <laughs> So Yay. the last cat we had that we raised from a kitten was Buttercup. And uh, she actually passed away a couple of years ago from some uh, kind of tick disease. And she wasn't this little uh, no. kitten. We haven't had kittens like this in probably... Long time. Gosh. 
since we first got married. Yeah, like 16, 17 Six, years 17 ago. 17 years ago was our first and last kittens. Yep. Which was Snickers, basically. Yeah. And she's still living, so the kids has never got to have kittens here. And I forgot how much fun they actually are. We spent all morning watching them play, and they're pretty hilarious. The reason why you don't see Smee's collar on is because it doesn't fit him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little too, too big. big. He's got to do a little more growing to get into it. I mean, he's our, <laughs> I, I think that he needs to do a little bit more growing up here than down here. So <laughs> these cats are strictly outside cats. They're not going in our house or anything. Uh, right now, they are living in our garden shed over here with our other cat, Snickers. Snickers is 17 years old, so we don't know how long she's going to be around. And the kids have been wanting to get these cats for a long time. So finally, Rachel found some and brought them home. So we're adding more animals to the farm, whether they're actual farm animals or not. But they can they be beneficial. Yes, they can they are outside kill mice. They're critter killers. Rodent killers. Yep. yep. Mojo. And their entertainment. <laughs> Mojo's just, hey, you don't know what to Because they are fun to watch. Okay, so now we're out here in the Pico Goat Pen because we are fixing to load up and head down to do some trail riding on the new ranger but first you always want to check your animals before you leave make sure they got food and water whatever but we yeah. got one little uh goat over here <laughs> every day she's been getting her head stuck in the new four by four fencing and we don't want to leave the farm and have a goat stuck in the fence because sometimes that can open up predators and stuff <laughs> when you're not here to take care of her look at this goat in this that's bucket that's little boo that's a little boo i'm that's... like what is <laughs> that's Ghostface's mom. I mean, that's her mom is Ghostface. That's Ghostface's baby. You can see her <laughs> pure white face. She's laying there in that water tank. It's empty. Little we Boo, don't... you're a funny girl. You're funny. Okay, so right over there is the little goat, the little white one in the middle that keeps getting its head stuck. Or it's this one right here, one of them, but right now they're not stuck, so that's a good sign. Oh, she got smart. <laughs> She's smart for you. Good for you, little boo. All right. So we're gonna make our rounds, check all our animals, and then the next time we'll see you, we'll be on the road or at the place where we're gonna go riding. I right, made it to the destination. We are going to do some riding down here below the big dam. And uh, look who just pulled up here. Chad at their farm. What do you know, buddy? What's up, buddy? Doing good. Doing good. How was your trip? That's pretty good. Did you stop because my four-wheeler almost went flying down the hill? <laughs> no. I didn't even see it. You ready to do some riding, Case? Yeah. Y'all said it was bumpy. Yeah, it is bumpy. So, uh, I don't know what we're fixing to get into. Dutch and family is right over here. We're gonna get everything unloaded and then we're gonna take off. So, stay with us. Let's go slow. Tires. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, big tires. Well, you know Dutch? Oh, not much. Get some guineas or what? Yeah, like six of them. So are we gonna get lost today or? I'm following you. You're leading the way. <laughs> we'll find somewhere to ride. I ain't never been up here. I ain't either. Well, of course they're gonna want to sit. Oh, hi. I just said be careful. You okay? You all right, sis? Right. So there's a waterfall somewhere down here that. Uh, yeah, Dutch and his kids wanted to stop and see. <laughs> Brandy wanted to swim or something. Our crops are like I get wet. Hey, don't lose your crops down here. There ain't gonna be no different. Okay, so we've been riding, mostly we've been riding around on this bedrock type stuff. This is where all these floodgates open up and they release water from the big lake grand lake above us and it's 
over the years it's eroded all the dirt and the rocks and stuff way down the river into the lake and now it's just complete limestone type bedrock and we just stopped for a little place here the kids are checking it out getting their feet wet Chad's fixing to push Dutch in the water. Thanks, <laughs> Wayne. I know how it'd go when he got out. Where's your floaties? <laughs> Caleb, that's slick, man. It's all mossy. Somebody's going to bust their rear in about only, two The only cool thing about this do is that, by the way. you can actually see the bottom. No, no. It's... So. Ooh, that's chilly. <laughs> you really jumping in, Case? If it gets views. <laughs> Here, it's dead. You're going to jump in? I thought I had you to. You don't I have to do anything. Hey, don't have to do. You want to get in right there, Chase? We got a little bit more than day left. Yeah, I don't know. Go under. Don't drive. Ow! Go all the way. Don't drive. You don't have no idea. I didn't put my crap on the side. Crap's pretty bad for this. Oh my god. That's slick, bro. That's real slick. I have to be careful, I don't lose your shoes. What are you doing, Kevin? You got a ladder or what? <laughs> Come here, you step on your back. Oh, there's a giant one. I got a 50 pound back. Oh, man. <laughs> Help Kevin, I'll hold your hand too. Can you get up here? Yeah. You turn into a monkey? I kind of sick. I'll give you a bite of sick. You help Kevin? No, I got it. I'm a big boy. Alright. I said a big boy. Why don't you suck your original? Randy, help me have the mic now. Stop it! Hold on, Kaya. Give me a boost. Dad, come help her. Did you see that? She's got you. Help? No, I guess not. She's like, I got it. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Big step, big boy. Big step. No one fell yet. Still rolling. I ain't made it yet. Now we got to get back down. <laughs> Alright, come back here to a Neanderthal cave. Dude, look. Pretty cool. So, whenever they open up the floodgates on this part of the dam, that water rushes down here and uh, it's pretty extreme. Our life's trouble. Oh, you want to do an MRE challenge? I told him to yeah. drink some of that water. It's nice and filter through the moss. Yeah. Brandy, you ain't ever been up here? Why did you feel drawn? Because I wish I had gloves because it hurts my hands. Pretty cool little cave. Wow. What did you think of that cave? It was really fun. <laughs> What'd you think? It was okay. Okay. What'd you think of the cave? It was awesome. What'd you think of the cave? Awesome. She's awesome. Oh. I liked it. Yeah. I loved it. I figured you'd like it if I showed it to you, though. Yes. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so it's dinner time. There's a little cafe up here on their main street. Look at this. Menu with Cherokee translation. You have to order in Cherokee or you don't get that. Yep. <laughs> that's actually the Cherokee syllabary, so that's even harder. How do you say cheese balls in Cherokee? <laughs> what happened, Kevin? Well, we're all sitting down eating a burger and turn around and look at this rain cloud. It started pouring on us, so we all rushed back to the trailers and we get here and it's all dry. Look at this cloud back here, though, over the dam. Let's, let's get back on. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so the trip ended a little bit early. 
we didn't do quite the trail riding like we had liked we were riding more on that rock and stuff like that but that's okay we didn't really know what we were going to be getting into and what to expect but we we're getting home and we got all these funky looking clouds up here i don't know if you guys can see them or not i'll pan around here to the other direction and but it's not raining and uh the kids are wanting to kind of learn to drive the ranger so we're going to work with them on driving this new ranger it's going to be a little different than our old one because it's a lot more powerful but me and Rachel feel it's important that they learn in case there's ever an emergency or we need some kind of help here on the farm. You never know. So we're going to get this thing unloaded. And uh, then what are we going to do? we got to feed Mojo. He's ready for dinner. <laughs> you ready for dinner, buddy? He's, He's sniffing the out. tires. <laughs> you all getting your stuff out? Yeah. Did you have fun today? Yeah. yeah. You did? A lot. A lot of fun. What do you think about the new Ranger? I love it. It's so much. You think it's going to help us out on the farm and it's fun for trail riding? Yeah. yeah. We don't have to crowd in the middle now in yeah. the front seat, right? Yeah. What'd you think, Mom? I loved it. I mean, I didn't get to drive it on the trail. Your time's coming. But no, the riding is spectacular. I am very impressed with it. Yep. We'll so, it. huge difference. Huge difference and we didn't really go through no mud. And the kids still had fun. Yep. You know, boy. Huh? Oh, I just seen a raindrop. Oh, no. All right. So, I don't know what kind of uh, riding footage we got on the GoPro. Kind of just threw it up here and there and kind of hit record and let it do its thing. And the next thing I knew, it was battery was dead like usual. So, <laughs> What do you got, Caleb? Anyways. Got Smee. Smee. Aw. Was he taking a nap? No, he, he was eating. Sleepy. It's a little guy. I know you're hungry, Can't big wait. guy. All right, so I'm going to end this video. You guys got anything to say before we get off here? Anything you want to add? Smee wants a ride. <laughs> you want to ride, Smee? What is that? This is a comfy little pillow. What is that? <laughs> Mojo. You're goofy. You don't even know. <laughs> you got anything to add before we get off here? Thank you guys for joining us today. We always appreciate our HHF farm family. And... Uh, Thanks for sticking with us on all our little adventures. You never know what we're going to do. <laughs> nope. So we love you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little different, like I always say, but every time we do something like that, we get a lot of positive feedback. So thank you guys so much. Without you, we wouldn't be doing this. Like I just said, we love you guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Keeping It Dutch and Adler Farms. They're all good uh, families. We had a lot of fun today. And uh, can't wait to see their videos. So go check out their channels. Leave us a comment, and what else? We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>